Hey man, it's Danny. Just one of them things today. Uh, usually I'm doing the drum lessons, but I'm uh, starting to learn how to play the guitar. So uh, I got this bug up my ass to, uh, I hear everybody talking about these tube amps. So I have uh, a couple of Behringer monitors and a, and a Yamaha mixer that I was playing through, and I mean it doesn't sound bad. But I thought uh, the tube amps maybe, you know, we make a long story short, I converted, uh, I was told it's a 1962, um, it's a Zenith AM FM turntable. I don't know what it's worth, I got it for 25 bucks. So I did a little research to make sure I didn't have a gold mine here, and uh, I didn't. So I went to work converting this thing um, to play my guitar through. And uh, I'll be honest, I've... I've done a lot of work, you know, mechanical and electrical and stuff like that, and this thing kicked my ass. I had like eight hours into it before it finally came out. So I'll play a little bit of nonsense for you. Like I said, I don't really play the guitar yet. I'm, I'm in my infancy stages of learning, but uh, it's one of them things, man, I just had to share and show what, uh, what can be done if you, if you really, you know, persistent and want to do it. So uh, these are the original speakers in it. And there's two woofers on each side, and there's a mid-range and two tweeters. And they're original. They're 62, 72, 82, 92. They're old. So, <laughs> But they, uh, they, they actually hold up pretty good. And I mean, for a practice amp and maybe even some light recording, it doesn't sound half bad. So I don't know if the video camera is going to pick up the actual sound of this or not. But, uh, you know, like I said, I don't play the guitar, but I'm going to bust some strings up here and show you a little bit of what it does sound like. So, uh, no hate on my guitar skills. And that's about what you're going to get out of me as far as the guitar goes. I'm learning Last Kiss, but I'm still stumbling through it, so I'm not going to embarrass myself with that one. But uh, the purpose of the video is just to show you, you know, that you can make a tube amp for, uh, in my case, 25 bucks. Um, I don't have the volume cranked all the way. Actually, it's about halfway, and the guitar is on four, so it's it's actually much louder than uh, than what I just showed you. Um, it's yeah, it's like 10 o'clock here, and people will start crying if I play too loud. So uh, anyway, let me show you what the guts of this thing look like after I whacked it up. Yeah, and it's pretty hummy when the guitar is not plugged in. It's a quick view of my uh, my jam room. But uh, anyway, I moved the knobs to the front of this thing, so uh, so I didn't have to keep the lid open. The speaker enclosures have these doors that open and close. Um, I didn't have to do anything there, but what I did do is I tore apart the back end, took out the chassis for the tuner and, uh, and the amplifier, and kind of blended the two back together. So, <laughs> yeah, it's pretty Frankenstein in here. But, uh, like I said, I drilled a couple of holes through here so the knob uh, spouts would fit through, a couple of screws to hold the, the chassis to the front, and... Uh, Really, it's, it's set up pretty much stock. Um, it took me a long time to figure out, though, to use the phonograph uh, hookups for the guitar input because going through the other way, you just didn't get enough volume. You got really no volume at all. And something that was really important is there was a ground provided here um, off of the, the phonograph inputs, which I had to solder a wire to the chassis to ground that out because the humming was was absolutely unbearable so uh, yeah man I mean it works pretty good and for 25 bucks and eight hours a time I don't know how long it'll last or you know before the speakers blow out or whatever but uh, if anybody's really interested or has one of these things laying around they'd like to know more about converting yeah hook up with me man and I'll do what I can for you peace